Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes, because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them. Got a minute, Grant? What's up? Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey, and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character's a female orthodontist. You're gonna be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull, it'll really be. Uh, that's enough, thanks. Do you have messages for me? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry, I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. That's interesting. Snakes can sense their prey by vibration. Hmm. Did you know that medieval legends about dragons and giant worms are actually based on snakes? You know, dragons, devils, sea monsters. They've always been associated with snakes. Grace, get alive. Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Drachen means dragon. I wonder if Mosley would know he was being insulted if I called him Draken Breath. Dry Draken Kreken and Meinen Schlaf, die Seele wollen sie, Leben dig zum Frost. For your rig and autumns, 
gespaltene Sonne genießen sie jedes Mal. That's nice. Kind of creepy, though. Who's the author? Heinz Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling this guy was one sick puppy. Gabriel opens a cash register to examine the take. Or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. Times dated June 18, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says, Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. <laughs> right. Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook, the way they must have haunted his mind. The images touch a deep chord in Gabriel. So familiar are they that he finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a bit scruffy. I might be able to use this black shirt. I don't need to, thanks. My bathroom. I've got to get around to cleaning up in there. I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you'll need a touch up. Going out. Don't hurry back on my account. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. 
Yeah, I got something for you, all right. As soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Where's the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky-loos than are probably already there. Here's that envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Thanks. Gabriel opens the manila envelope and finds two photographs. The photograph of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He had hair then. One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene shot, a graphic close-up of a victim. A police officer is either off duty or patrolling the park, or both. You white-faced geek, you want to eat my fist? It's one of those mimes. Oh. Cut that out. I told you to stop that. All right, mister, you want some of this? Why, you little... Anyone seen Joe? Gabriel picks up the headset and listens. Hey, you, get away from that bike. Sorry. Mostly. Huh? Knight, you wiener. I told you not to call me that. Feeling jumpy? Who, me? Don't be stupid. How'd you find me? Oh, I was just driving by. Uh-huh. Well, 
I guess I can let you see it for the book, but don't tell anyone, huh? Definitely another voodoo murder. Same M.O. and no freaking clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. Oh, that's disgusting. Isn't this a rather public area for this kind of thing? Yeah, they're freaking ghosts, these guys. Lakeshore Drive isn't exactly the 10 Expressway, but it is open to the public. No reports of nothing. Now, who the hell is that? Good day, Miss Getty. What's going on, officer? Detective Mosley, ma'am. Uh, we got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about. I see. Thank you, Detective. And good day, gentlemen. I'm in love. Forget it. That's Molly Getty. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Nah, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. We've about wrapped it up, sir. Well, let's get the meat wagon moving then. Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck and the water moccasins, though. If you want to talk, I'll be at the station tomorrow. Thanks. There's a pattern to the lines in the sand, but only one small area is clearly defined. Try to copy this down. Oh, that's a lot of blood. No, oh, I've got no way to take that with me, and I don't want to. Looks like there was something here. I should take a closer look. I can't even see what I'm trying to pick up. I need a better look. He looks like a scale of some sort. He looks like a scale of some sort. Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to take the small, iridescent scale. I think it's a snake scale, but it beats the hell out of me what kind. I'll take some of this clay with me. Who 
Posted on the door of the museum is a sign saying closed. Their hours list that they will open again tomorrow. The Dixieland drugstore is closed until tomorrow morning. Hey Grace, here I am. Oh boy, party time. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm, -mm. the name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you can get an address. Mm-hmm, the murders, right. I'll see what I can find out. Well, oh, it's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to dream. Good morning. Don't you look swell today? Actually, swollen. Mm. So have some. There's a fresh pot on the table. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh, it always does that. Never mind. Ha uh ha. -huh. Did you dream about the fire and the hanged guy and that lion thing last night? Leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Malia Getty? Well, I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. The Gettys own three local hospitals, just to name a few of their assets. They run in very high circles. Did you get an address? I got the address. I suppose this has nothing to do with the fact that Molly Getty is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. And that address is? Hey, far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557 West Ingram. That's the Garden District. Estate City. That's all I wanted to know. And yes, my dear, Malia Getty is the most dangerous looking diversion I have ever seen. Ouch. Ugh, men. Today's newspaper is on the counter. Times dated June 19, 1993. 
A front page article describes the most recent of the voodoo murders. Gabriel scans it but learns nothing new. The article reiterates that the voodoo aspect of the crime is faked. Gabriel shivers. It looked real enough to him. Elsewhere, there's an article about the history of Jackson Square called the Plaza d'Armes under French rule. It was used for executions, firing squads, hangings, even impalement and breaking on the wheel. Yikes! Of course, these days, it's mostly a hangout for tourists, street musicians, and local artists. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Chances of a dark star rising on this day. Do not trust your instincts. I feel a dark star rising all right. Wow. I'm going out. Don't hurry back on my account. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. Gab Gabriel can't do that from the front lobby. Detective Mosley. Hard at work, I see. Yeah, yeah. What is it, you wanker? Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah. Weird, huh? All seven victims had those marks around them. We've got all the marks on file. But we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Can I see the other six patterns? Uh, sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Might make the book seem more mysterious. Go talk to Officer Franks. Tell her I said you could see the file. you get back to it. Later, Knight. Excuse me, officer? Yes? Can you get a file for me? What file would that be? The Voodoo Murders file. Detective Mosley said I could see it. Really? Well, if you said so. There it is. You can look at it all you want, but don't leave this area with it, okay? And no photocopies either, I'm afraid. Of course. I understand completely. It's the official police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murders. The folder is marked with the warning not to leave the police station. Gabriel opens and reads the police file.
I'm done. Yeah, thanks. Detective Mosley. Hard at work, I see. Yeah, yeah. What is it, you wanker? Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. You got any more ideas for photos for the book? A cop author photo might be nice. You and me? Together? Why not? Of course you'll have to try and tone down your masculinity. Well, okay. I'll call the police photographer. Uh, Franks, come in here a minute, would you? And bring your camera. What did you need, Detective Mosley? We need a picture, please. Make it a good one, eh, sweetheart? Sure, sweetheart. Say, chintzy. Was there anything else, Knight? Hold on a sec while I go check my hair. Good God, Knight. Make it fast. Just want to check this machine here. Would you just get in here? Hurry up, would ya? Okay, ready. Thanks, hon. Let me know when you get them developed. Uh, the photos, that is. Yeah, sure. Anything else, Knight? Nope, that's about it. Great. Thanks, Franks. Hey, I made a rhyme. You're astonishing, mostly. Don't call me that in front of the lady, wise guy. Thank God I can take this thing off again. Damn, it's hot. Okay, anything else? How about getting me some coffee? Coffee? You want coffee? Should that surprise you? Nah, you've always been a caffeine addict. It's just that what we got here hardly qualifies. So I'm desperate. It's your stomach. I'll get you some when we're done talking. That long? All right, I'll go now. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. I think I'll just borrow this badge. Hey, hey, what are you doing with my coat? Nothing. I thought I saw something crawling on it. Just drink this. Thanks, tons. I mean it.
Okay, anything else? I'm gonna hit the road. Ciao, baby. Welcome, my friend. Hello. I am the proprietor, Dr. John. If you have any questions, I will be happy to assist. Great. My name is Knight, and I'll probably take you up on that. shrine is filled with items that both fascinate Gabriel and also make his skin crawl. A flyer advertising Magenta Moonbeam, a local voodoo Her parlor is on the corner of Orleans and Dauphine. What does this do? Turn that thing off. Oh, sorry. We have air conditioning, you see. Yeah, I see. Could I ask you a few questions? That is why I am here. What can you tell me about voodoo? Historical voodoo or the voodoo currently practiced in the city. Tell me about historical voodoo. Very well. I will start at the beginning, Mr. Knight, and will go on from there at your prompting. Sounds good. As you may know, voodoo is a grassroots religion, formed by the mixing together of many different African tribal religions and Anglo religions, such as Catholicism or Protestantism. In other words, it is a religion born of the African slave trade. But African slaves were imported not only by the United States, but also into the West Indies, where the French and Spanish ran plantation islands. Prior to 1803, the New Orleans area was owned by France. The French Creole in those days owned many African slaves. But the Creole did not permit their slaves to gather giving no chance for voodoo to breed here natively. The Creole also knew enough about the corrupted pagan practices of the West Indies slaves to ban the importings of slaves from that region. So how did voodoo come to New Orleans? After the Louisiana Purchase, American legislators relaxed regulations. Slaves were permitted to gather the Americans also removed the ban on West Indies slaves. Around the same time, a slave revolt occurred in Santo Domingo, what is now Haiti. Between the lifting of the ban and the Haitian revolt, West Indies slaves began pouring into New Orleans. Some of them were free people of color, freed or escaped slaves. Some came with their white owners who were fleeing from the revolt. What happened when the West Indies slaves got here? They brought voodoo with them. The native slaves were more than enthusiastic about embracing it. It gave them power, Mr. Knight. If only in the form of a communal barn. Among the first meeting places were the Bayou St. John and the shore of Link Pontchartrain. The early voodoos were heavy snake worshippers, worshipping the one they called the Great Zombie. Tell me more about historical voodoo. By 1817, 
the voodoo activities were beginning to cause fear among the white slave owners. An ordinance was passed to forbid slave gatherings except in designated public areas at designated times. The time was Sunday afternoons at the place Congo Square. The slaves and free people of color gathered to dance simulations of their voodoo dances, right in sight of Creole society. Of course, they also continued to meet in private for the real thing. Tell me more about historical voodoo. There were a variety of kings and queens at first, voodoo priests and priestesses. But from about 1830, a single power emerged. This was a voodoo queen named Marie Laveau. Marie Laveau ruled voodoo in New Orleans for many years. Tell me about Marie Laveau. There were actually two Marie Laveaux, mother and daughter. Most people thought they were the same woman. Her continued youth added to the mystique. The original, the mother, was also known as Widow Paris. It was she that began the empire. Tell me more about Marie Laveau. The Laveau tomb, where one or both of the Maries are believed to be buried, is in St. Louis Cemetery No. 1. It is a popular shrine for practitioners and tourists alike. I myself take tours through the cemetery on a regular basis. Really? Do you have any running this week? No, but the cemetery is open to the general public as well. Tell me about current voodoo. Many people think of voodoo in terms of magic spells or gri-gri. That kind of practice is actually called hoodoo and is only a part of true voodoo. Voodoo, the religion, has a strong following in New Orleans. In fact, it is growing quite rapidly. There are several voodoo churches or temples in the city, and others all across the United States. African Americans see it as a tradition all their own. Whites, and there are many in the religion, are attracted to it because they think it is exotic. I personally am more interested in the history of voodoo. Some of the new movements are copying Haitian or even African voodoo. But it is the voodoo of New Orleans that I find so intriguing. Does this mean anything to you? I cannot say that it does. Could you look at this and tell me if you recognize anything about the ritual? Mm, this is truly offensive. This is from one of those recent killings, is it not? Well, actually... But the police already know that this so-called voodoo ritual is fake. Voodoo is a respectable religion. This kind of thing has nothing to do with voodoo in the city. Fine, let's say that's true. Are you sure there's nothing about the items in this photo? There is nothing about this... this sickness that I would identify as voodoo. Nothing. Thanks for looking, man. Do these marks look familiar? They look like the scribbling of a child to me. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Bonjour, Monsieur Walker. Bienvenue, Madame Cazonon. Comment ça va? How you be feeling today? Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Walker. I'm certain someone's buried asleep, not bad. Somewhere near my steps. I haven't slept a wink, not in weeks. Now, don't that beat all. 
I'll need some easy night candles then, huh? Do you think that would help? I do hope you're right. I said three rosaries this morning for our lady's intervention. Rosary good, sure enough, but you buying them candles too, boy? You gonna whip any no-sleep Grigri, I tell you for sure. Very well, Mr. Walker. Put them on my account and send them around to my house. Oh, and there's another thing. I didn't catch her at it, but I know. Mrs. Lefebvre put stomachache powder in my tea at the last meeting of the Creole Grand Dame. I've been in misery. Now you put nine pinheads up in the little box. <laughs> Add a pinch of graveyard dust. Put it up under her front post there. That'll turn the trick back on Miss Lefebvre, and she be the one with the belly, eh? <laughs> I got the pins of dust right here if you want them. If the Blessed Virgin will grant me her protection, I'll be safe from these practitioners of evil. We, oui, madame. Though, uh, don't hate to be proactive now, neither now, does it? Naturellement, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Mais non, madame. It's nothing. Au revoir. Au revoir, monsieur Walker. The sign says, Special St. John's Eve Lagnia. Free bottle of lover come back to me oil, or master gambling oil with every purchase over $50. Lagnia. My French is lousy, but everyone in New Orleans knows what that means. A little something extra. Damask appears to be made from a real crocodile head. Hi there. Is this your store? This is the Dixieland Drug Store. Naomi. Me. Name's Walker. Willie Walker. Do you know anything about animal masks? The only one left is Willie Jr. over there. The old crocodile. He's sort of a mascot now, him. That customer of yours, the little old lady. Customer? The woman I saw in here, Madame Casino, you called her. I don't talk about my customers to men who come in off the street. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Caprice on go. What did you say? Nothing. Them killings have nothing to do with my shop, monsieur. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? It's the biggest night of the year in voodoo. What goes on exactly? I couldn't say. What did you mean when you said Cabri saint -Cor? I didn't say that. You did. I heard you say it. You heard wrong, monsieur. I said no such thing. About Willie Jr., would you be willing to let him go? Hmm, maybe. For a hundred dollars. A hundred? You gotta be kidding. Me and Willie Jr. are very close, no? I couldn't part with him for less. Do you know anything about snake scales? I got some snake root and uh, snake powder, but I order them wholesale. I don't handle snakes. Mm -mm, I don't like them at all. Mind taking a look at this photograph? Cabri Sanco. Cabri Sanco? What does that mean? Nothing, man. I didn't say nothing like that. You heard me wrong, man. A sign on the front door of Magenta's home reads Attuning with the Spirit Realm, back on June 22nd.
angel draped dramatically over a stone plinth marks the entrance to a large tomb. Another ancient family tomb of a type St. Louis Cemetery is famous for. I don't, I don't need to go visit the family tomb today. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? What can I do for you? Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Sure, sure. She was the voodoo queen of New Orleans. A powerful voodoo yen and a powerful sorceress. Well, evil still come to her tomb, you know. They write secret marks on the walls, leave offerings. Then they're the tourists. They come out of curiosity. As a matter of fact, that big Dr. John fella from that voodoo museum, He's here at least once a day, but Marie Laveau's tomb isn't the only one the believers visit and make markings and leave offerings at. You said there were other mock tombs? Yep. I've seen bull hearts left on tombs in a nest of vulture feathers, pleats of peas and congreen, animal parts, human parts even, it looked like. Male parts, if you get my meaning. And this is one of the great family crypts, mind you. Ah, how them types just pick a spot and stick to it. Food, trinkets, and more unsettling things have been left at Marie Laveau's tomb as offerings from believers. Odd-looking marks adorn the Laveau tomb wall. copy of these strange marks. I'd like to see Malia Giri, please. I'm sorry, but unless you have an appointment or official business, I cannot announce you. My name is Detective Mosley. I'm here on police business. Really? How interesting. Oh, wait here. I'll inform Ms. Getty. Ms. Getty will see you. Right this way. Ms. Getty will be down shortly. Thank you.
What can I do for you, detective? Mind if I ask you a few questions, Miss Giddy? I assume that's what you're here for, detective. Can you tell me anything about what happened out at the lake? I wish I could, but I've never seen or heard anything unusual at the lake. And I do spend quite a bit of time out there. Excuse me, but your eyes are really distracting. I don't think I've ever seen a color quite like that brownish gold. It's so deep and rich. Man, if I could bottle that, I'd make a fortune. Thank you, detective. That's an interesting observation, though probably not relevant to your case. A good detective never knows what might be relevant, Miss Giddy. Then you must be truly exceptional at your job. I can't help noticing that you're in incredible shape, Miss Giddy. Your legs are so strong. Do you work out at one of the clubs by the lake? Well, detective, I do enjoy physical activity. Oh, me too. Actually, I was referring to swimming and modern dance. I can't say that I do much exercising at the lake, though. Ah, well, it was worth asking. I think this has gone on long enough. You're not really a detective, are you? Who, me? Well, I am on this case, Miss Giddy. I saw you at the lake yesterday. I thought you must be with the police since you were there, but you don't act like a police officer. Besides, I'm rather certain that the other man said his name was Mosley. All right, you caught me. I'm not with the police. My name is Gabriel Knight. I'm a writer working with Detective Mosley on a book. Well, Mr. Knight, now that we've established who you are, perhaps you can tell me the real reason you're here. Well, I am researching the book, and I thought you might have seen or heard something at the lake. I don't like liars, Mr. Knight. Okay, okay, you're right. I really just wanted to see you again. You can be mad at me if you want, but I swear I've never done anything like this before. Mr. Knight, you've lied about your identity and wasted my time with meaningless questions. If it weren't vaguely flattering, I'd really be angry. You're lucky I don't call the real police. I think you should go, Mr. Knight. Molly, wait. If you just give me a chance. I've wasted enough time. I'll have Robert show you out. Robert? Show Mr. Knight out, please. I most certainly will. Thank you very much. I had a lovely time. Ah, shit. Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Got a minute, right? What's up? Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? I need you to look up a Madame Casano. Madame Casano? Is she related to the murders the same way your friend Molly Aghetti was? Grace, Casano's at least 70. As if that makes a difference to you. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Anything else? I can't think of anything. I've got some things I need to do. Good luck. Oh, hey! Oh, 
come back here. Hey! Oh, unbelievable. Rotten luck. Gabriel can't reach the drawing from where he is. through the bars around the statue? Got any money? Nope. There you have it. No. Can't think of anything at the moment. Okay, then. I have this gift certificate. I'm busy. It's good for $20 at St. George's Books. Finest bookstore in New Orleans. Really? I'll have to check it out sometime. You could take this gift certificate with you. If you'll give me a doobie dog. A doobie dog for a $20 gift certificate? Sure, here you go. like a doobie dog by any chance. Would I? Thanks, mister. You got any special requests? Let me know. You mentioned something about special requests. Yeah, you got one? Can you fit through the bars around the statue? Can I? Just watch me. Good. There's something in there I can't quite reach. Can you reach that piece of paper? Sure thing. Here you go. Thanks, kid. Yup. See ya. Stupid wind. Now this I have to start to you, all over. It? My drawing. How'd you get it? Oh, it was a bit of a squeeze, but I hate to see you lose your work. I lost my only copy of a manuscript once. Well, you saved my butt. Let me know if I can ever do the same for you, hey? Is there any way you can reconstruct the whole pattern from these partials? Hmm. The pattern is probably circular, and there's some repetition in the elements. Okie dokie. Well, there's... Oh, I think there's an area missing. If you could get me any more of these, I'll see what I can do. I have another one of those patterns. Really? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, this is great. I think there's enough overlap now. I'll give it my best shot. I'll show you what I come up with tomorrow. Great. I appreciate it. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. 